While most of you would not be considering leaving your homes for international travel anytime soon, for many people it's not a choice they can make because they are stranded far from home. Well, we happen to be one of them uh, who have been stuck here in India and this video is going to be a life update sharing how we now finally see a ray of hope of returning back to Canada after four months of effort and wait. Hey guys welcome back to our channel right turn to canada i hope all of you and your families are healthy and safe covid 19 has affected all our lives in unexpected ways and we are no different if you have been following us and you've watched our previous videos and you probably know that we came to india for a holiday in february we were supposed to go back in mid-march when india went into lockdown and we could not return uh, we did put a video and shared it with you guys as well at that point of time, it seemed like a logical decision because like all of you, we also didn't expect the COVID-19 situation to run so long and turn so bad as it has. We consider ourselves to be in better position than many, but still we also want to get back to work now, get back to our normal lives, go back to our home because our life is kind of stuck in the middle right, right now. So after the wait and efforts of four months, we finally see a ray of hope in the Mission Vande Bharat and the phase three of Mission Vande Bharat where we have finally been able to book our tickets and we probably, fingers crossed, will now be flying back in the end of June. So let me share with you how difficult, confusing, frustrating and unexpected this whole process has been. We were supposed to return in mid-March and then we extended our booking to April. We had to pay the fare difference for the adjustment. Uh, we paid that and we booked it for April and then the lockdown got extended. We moved to end of April. We were supposed to leave then. We expected that it's perfect, that things would get normal by then and we should probably be um, good to go by the end of April. The situation got worse, lockdown got extended and we were kind of just stuck there with no information whatsoever um, on where the things were going, when we could expect the international travel to open again, when we could expect the lockdown to open or if there are any other ways to get back to Canada. Then we heard about the special repatriation flights Mission Vande Bharat that was um, being carried out by Air India. But in the phase one, there were no flights to Canada, as far as we know. By that time, it was about, I think, the beginning of May. We were trying to contact different officials, High Commission of Canada and all different concerned officials and airlines as well. If we could find another, like, another way to get back. Because uh, we were getting the news that there are some special flights being run by Canadian government uh, at that point of time. So we were expecting if we could go back in them. But when we researched about them, we got to know that only Canadian citizens or uh, the PRs who are accompanying the Canadian citizens can fly in those special flights so far. And since there were so many of them, we didn't get a chance to travel in any of them. By that time, around mid of May, phase two of Vande Bharat started and uh, we were expecting there would be few flights uh, to Canada. And there were actually three flights in phase two of Vande Bharat uh, and uh, we tried to book our tickets in those. We were ready with everything that was required. We had actually contacted Air India before the booking started and they had told us that if you book uh, online, then you probably would not be able to adjust the money that you've already paid for your tickets that were originally being booked. So you call us and then we will book your tickets and we will adjust all of that money and you will have to pay the fare difference again. So we were fine with that and we tried calling them since 5 o'clock when the bookings opened. We kept on calling them until 9. Two or three times the call got connected during those four hours but we could never complete the whole process and the call got dropped. Meanwhile, we were just keeping an eye on the number of tickets online as well and... We were just calling them, calling them and all the tickets were sold out. Then there were rumors or news on social media that international flights might open. So we were a little optimistic, nothing happened. 
Then came the phase three of Vande Bharat, and we were now finally expecting that we would book our tickets. We gave up on the hopes of readjusting the money that we had already paid. We were ready to pay more money and just get our tickets booked and go back to Canada. And guess what? The booking opens on fifth uh, of June at five p.m. We're trying Air India. We're calling them over phone since three, and we couldn't get through them. Till five, and we're on our laptops, on our apps, and nothing seems to work. We couldn't book anything, as the website had totally stopped working. Everyone thought that probably they have lost the chance, and the tickets are sold out. And also because of the declaration of Air India that there have been so many hits, everyone expected that you know now this whole run is gone, and we won't be able to book a ticket. We kept on checking through the night, no slots, no tickets opened. We checked early in the morning, and suddenly around ten or eleven a.m., we saw that all the flights are available again, and we were kind of in a panic mode because we were not expecting it. And then we started getting going with everything again. The tickets were open, but there were still so many issues. Uh, we tried different dates, and as soon as we reached the payment. Um, page at the end the tickets were sold out we tried for so many dates the tickets became available unavailable so many times during the process i don't even remember i probably booked a hundred times and that was also one reason that one of our laptops was blocked maybe air india has put some of the uh, you know it as a safety measure or something it was blocked because we were trying again and again but what could we possibly do we were not able to book a ticket Six members of our family were on different devices booking tickets for us, so you can expect how difficult it was. But somehow we managed to book the tickets for in the end of June. If you are also one of them who were able to book your tickets in this phase, then keeping our fingers crossed. Hopefully, we will land in Canada soon. And if you are someone who has not been able to book in this phase and is going to wait for the next phase, maybe if that comes. Then let me share a few tips or pieces of advice with you that can prepare you better for that whole process. The first very important thing that actually made things difficult for us in phase two was that we didn't follow Air India and our aviation minister on Twitter. So do follow them. Follow Air India and our aviation minister, Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri, on Facebook as well as on Twitter. I would say Twitter for sure because. Whenever the bookings open or all the declarations or all the announcements that they make, the first come on Twitter. Second, do install Air India app on your mobile phones and try booking on them rather than on your laptops because on your laptops or computers you have to fill in the details every single time you have to book the tickets because tickets are going to be available and unavailable so many times during the process and you will have to try to book them again and again. App is easier because once you feed all your information, it stays there, and you can go faster to the end step. Third, very important um, tip is if you're going to use a card that is from outside India, like we were trying to use the Canadian card or card from US, don't go for those. If you have uh, someone or if you have an account in India, if you have an Indian card, debit card or credit card. do try to use that before the booking start beforehand check the limit on your debit or credit card because that is going to be very very important if you uh, can then prefer internet banking because i found it much easier with internet banking do not even try to book the tickets on call like we did do not even try you will be hours and hours on phone and you'll not be able to book a single ticket let me tell you that for sure book on app or through pc whichever way you want to go don't um waste your time in selecting seats or meal preferences anything just book how many passengers are traveling try to go to the last payment page and book the ticket that's all i know that air india has been receiving a lot of flag online because of the whole process and it has been difficult to be very honest but i think the whole project the this whole situation is so bad and the whole project of just reuniting people from different parts of the world is so difficult i think air india is still doing a very commendable job and they are pretty good at it the glitches are there but they're still doing it very fine
Thanks for watching this video. We will definitely try to upload and share with you our experience of flying back on these special flights. If you think that this video might be useful for any of your friends who are trying to get back to their country, do share it with them. Do subscribe to our channel and do like this video if you found it useful. So until I see you next time, bye-bye and take very good care.